Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about how, well, it's another another uh, dose of dismal news for Disney. They're shuffling the Marvel Disney Plus shows mm -hmm. around because of the strikes. I'm guessing. I'm thinking. I'm confused though, because some of them are supposed to be out this year and should have been completed. So they're, why? Because they don't yeah. do big, they don't do like, they do some of the rollouts, so they do like a little bit of the junkets, but not like they do for films. So there's no reason, unless it wasn't done, or using this opportunity to push things back to work on them longer or to save money. Some of the things don't make sense to, to shift. Unless they're doing some reshoots or something. Or it ties in, well, yeah, or it ties in, well, Echo, they're supposed to be doing a lot of reshoots. Or if it ties into, like, another movie that's coming out, they have to push back because the movie's coming out. I don't know. You know, I don't know either. I, I don't know. We're going to talk about this because uh, it's interesting. One of them is missing. Uh, one of the shows are missing completely. Oh, nothing of value is lost. Ironheart. Uh, Ironheart, which is she's supposed to be the replacement for Tony Stark. And yeah, no one cares. Introduced in Wakanda forever. And I haven't seen that movie, and I don't care to see that movie because it's a Black Panther movie without the Black Panther. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna do well whenever it appears. The only one of these two two of these might do well. Loki and Agatha, I think, will probably do okay. Well, Agatha was supposed to be out this year. Yeah, so I'm a lot of these are bummed about it because I kind of they changed the name of it too. It was Coven of Chaos, and now it's something else. Is, is Coven of Chaos too, too uh, dicey for Disney now? I don't know. It's, it's they changed the, the name. We can, I could call it Coven. Um, Agatha and Friends. Um, X-Men 97, which I actually kind of sort of was looking forward to, but now I'm like, eh, I don't know. I'm pretty much burnt out on all this stuff, so I don't really care. We're going to talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo if you do. Uh, so, yeah. Question. Yeah. If Disney stocks are already going down, when this hits on Monday and everybody finds out, or Tuesday because of the holiday, and people find out about the fact that they just announced that there's a bunch of shows that are for Disney Plus that aren't coming out this year like they were supposed to, which should have boosted subscribers and stuff, is it going to hit their stock again? Um, are investors going to be pissed? Wouldn't it be funny if the stock actually went up? Like, you're not bringing out Ironheart. Okay, that's a good decision. Yeah, maybe, but they're also not. They're pushing back There's everything nothing. but Loki 2, which everybody knew Loki 2 was going to do well because Loki, the first time around, like... It was by far the biggest release. It like, outperformed everything by you know a considerable margin. I think it was like they had two point five million uh, in the first four days uh, households, and I think the next the next largest was like one point eight or one point seven. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay, Agatha Darkhold Diaries is what they're going to call it now. Yeah, because Coven of Chaos is a much better title. Yeah. But they do change the whole story and have to give a different name. Uh, I don't know. Or they fear the people. Darkhold Diaries the... just sounds like, oh my God, dear diary, <laughs> today I kicked Scarlet Witch's ass. And then she took my powers away. And I'm so sad. Had to eat a burger and three milkshakes. Diary of a Wimpy Witch. Diary of a Witch. So the, the move comes amid Hollywood strikes as well as a general pullback at Disney Plus. They don't even know why. They're just like, yeah. Because some of these would have been done or almost they done. Are. And the filming would have been done unless they're going to reshooting it or they're using it as a reason to hold on to money longer. Well, I think that's it too. And I, there, there's... But they already paid for it though. I'm sure there's some uh, creative accounting being used. I don't know because they already paid there. for a lot of it. And if it's done, why not just air it? I don't know how this is going to do with investors when they're like, you have all these shows that were supposed to release. You wait until now to say that you're not. Yes. And some of them should have been done by now. So what's your reasoning? Yeah, it's weird. Uh, Loki is the only show coming out this fall. And it's going to do well. Loki will do okay. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, what if will debut around Christmas Day? Uh, the animated show is not a holiday themed series. It's popular. What if was popular too? But I, I would think that the, the Agatha you know, would be more popular than what if, but you know, drop it on Halloween. That would have been, you know, whatever. Um, I would like to see them do more with, um, werewolf by night because their one little special they did was actually really good. Yeah, it was, uh, it was I very was different. surprised. I loved it. I was surprised that I think they're better off doing a lot of these shows should have been movies or specials or I think if they would do them as a special. Yeah. I think they would yeah. do better or you could do a couple specials, but like, yeah, they're too long. Uh, Echo, the show nobody, literally nobody asked for this. A spinoff from last year's hit Hawkeye. Hawkeye wasn't a hit. It was, it was, it did nah. about the same. It did about the same as, you know, um, actually it did about the same as uh, She-Hulk. That's not a they hit. They did about the same. That's not a hit. Mm -mm. 
Echo is a character nobody cares about. Like, literally nobody cares about it. Echo. But she's getting a show. Yeah, but apparently the rumor was that the show was so dog shit that they had to redo it. The Foggy looked at it and said, this is crap. We have to redo it. But they, she was supposed to come out. that was supposed to come out this year, too. And now it's going to be moved to next year. Uh-huh. Um, let's see here. X-Men 97 was one everybody wanted. Yes. Well. That could have been delays because the animation takes longer. Animation. Um, they're saying that it's now going to premiere in early 2024. But didn't they say Echo's going to do early 2024 also? Um, January. January So what are they going to do? Just dump all this stuff in like January and February? This is the year we're going to be profitable. Let's oh, yeah. Disney Plus has to be profitable. Oh, we know. Okay, guys, let's do it here. Since we're already in the shithole anyway, let's hold back some shows so that we can go into 2024. Like, look, guys, we're going to do what we promised you this entire time. We're going to be profitable. Because if anybody cares about these shows. Because everybody is going to sign up for Disney Plus just to watch Echo. Oh, and you know what it could be, too? They're going to raise prices. They're supposed to raise prices on Disney oh, Plus. Oh, that's probably more to do with it. Um, yeah. And by the end of the year. They're supposed to, I think, what is it, November, December? They're supposed to jack prices up on it. And they're trying to get people to go to their ad supported tiers. So the ad supported tiers are staying low, but the ones that aren't ad supported, they're raising a whole bunch because um, they get double dip with the ads. They get to have people pay the subscription and they get all the ad money. Okay. So if they want to make money on these shows and they think that's going to be a driving um, factor for people to watch Disney Plus, wouldn't it make more sense to save them until you have the new pricing structure so you can get more money out of? Uh-huh. People that want to subscribe because yeah. people will subscribe, watch a bunch of stuff, and then cancel. Well, why do it before the pricing structure increase? Just do it after. No, I mean, you're I probably right. I don't know. No, that you're probably not, right. They're because they know that they're you know. Look, I know that that Marvel's declining. It's obvious Marvel's declining, but. If you can get more blood out of the stones that well, are going to, you think. Know, I sit here and think, I'm just like, what is the most asinine, the most Disney, Disney thing? dickish, you know, price gouging thing to do? And then I'm like, oh, that's probably why. <laughs> so, um, anyway. so Ironheart is off the schedule completely. They said they, they finished shooting it, but its completion is affected by the strikes. Well, it could also be the uh, FX, unless it's going to be one of these things where it's like, yeah, she's not going to be in the suit for most of the show because that costs money. Well, so. it's off the, it, but, it, but it took it off completely, but, and Daredevil's, you know, right now is, is, is in limbo because they had this, they were, they were just shooting it when this all happened. But like one or uh, Agatha was done. They've already filmed it. It was supposed to be out for winter this year. Now it's not coming out for almost a year later. That's weird. That's weird. So let's, um, yeah, people are like, Oh my God, Marvel just broke our hearts. That was like everybody. The one show I wanted to watch. Like yeah, Daredevil Agatha would really give a shit. I would watch Daredevil as long as they don't put She-Hulk in it. And um, I'd watch Agatha. Those are two I'd actually watch. Now, she's very different than she was in the comics. Comics, she's yes, just a little uh, bad. Yeah. But she, she's a good actress. I like I like Catherine Hart. I think she's a good actress. Uh, now, is the show going to be any good? Probably not. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It's probably not going to be good. But here's the thing about Riri Williams. Well, she has been a controversial character for freaking years and we're basically in the stage of the mcu where they're going to the worst received era of the marvel comics which would have mm-hmm. been like 2015 2018 well, when they planned this stuff out it was a few years ago when it was like what like 2018 2019 probably yeah. when they started announcing these so that was still they were they were all in on the whole if you don't like it you're a horrible person because that that narrative was working and now, they, by the time they get around to it, it's not working any longer. And people are like, this sucks. People just aren't buying these comics anymore. They're not. You can say people just aren't buying it anymore. People just, just aren't buying there. comics. But but they introduced these characters into the MCU and they landed with a thud. Now, I'll, I'll give Miles Morales a pass because Sony was handling that. That was animated. That's a different thing, right? But Riri Williams, not received well. Uh, definitely female Thor, Jane Foster, not mm-hmm. received well. And I'm sorry if you if you tell people that we're gonna we're gonna replace Tony Stark with this obnoxious teenage girl, they'd be like, "What the hell? What the hell?" But well, that's no. just what it is. You're replacing everyone, uh, every especially male character with a, a gender swapped version. But there's no race swapped versions too. There's no agenda, guys. It's oh, not, not the at MCU all. at all. It's that, that's that, not a that's thing. That's insulting. And how dare you say that? It's that's like, well, insulting. I'm a woman, so I can say it. Don't care. I mean, is it possible that they're just like dropping Ironheart like they're and retooling it, being like, hey, hey, we're in a really bad place right now. Can we get Robert Downey Jr. again? Can we get him to come back for more? Because there's a rumor he was supposed to. I don't know. I don't follow this shit. Like, I don't care the, the specifics. Of there what's was going a rumor on. that he'd come back. That he was going to come back as like a Jarvis 
for Riri Williams that he was going to be the voice in the suit or some dumb shit like oh, that. Oh, that would be even, that's more insulting. That's even Don't more that. insulting. Like, yeah, you're just my freaking iOS now. You're AI. You've been replaced with AI. Oh my God. Are they going to be like, well, we can't do that because the whole story arcs about how we replaced Tony with AI and nobody cared because it was like, you know, whatever. We can't do that know. now, the strikes. I just think that well, some of them might be strike related, like Daredevil, for example, because they were literally in the middle of filming it. I think that Wonder Man, another case, they were literally in the middle of uh, producing that one. And then we have the writers on strike. So if it's a show that hasn't was in mid-filming or in writing, of course they're going to get delayed. There's just no way to avoid that. But then you have things like the Agatha Harkness one, and then has Audrey, Aubrey Plaza in it and everything. Yeah. And I think it's, it's been pretty much like, the filming's been complete on it for a while. It, it could be, you know, because their ta- their tra- FX are taking longer or something. Mm-hmm. But some of these shows make no sense to move them. No, it doesn't, it doesn't. make sense. So they're pretty much done. Yeah, no, the the money thing, and uh, they're probably looking at the reaction. I, look, it, the 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 reason the strikes are happening. Because the studios wanted the strikes to happen, guys. You played right into it. They, now they're going to be like, well, because of the strikes, we just, mm, you know, things have changed since it's been so long. And we're just going to, yeah, we're going to cancel this. And we're just going to take the write down, you know, because we don't think the market's the same. Mm-mm. We think it was a very different market before the strikes when we greenlit this show. But now we're like, yeah, we can't really justify putting, you know, a whole bunch more money into special effects on this. So mm, I guess we're just going to cancel it. We're going to shelve it. It's been filmed, but that's okay. You know, we have the right to do that. season two, I can, I can see them still doing it. Um, interestingly enough, it doesn't come out until the start of the next fiscal year. Of course. Leading into the 2024 date. Of course. It's profitable by of the course. end of the fiscal year 2024. Yes. So that kicks off the fiscal year 2024. Um, and what if would be, you know, I, I, what if was popular? I just don't know if it was, I don't know why they left that one in, but moved other things. That's just weird. I, I have to wonder if Secret Invasion didn't have something to do with this. Like they're like, okay, these shows are bombing. Let's push them back. Let's figure out a game plan because let's save what we can save because a lot of the shit was greenlit. Echo and Ironheart was greenlit before we fired Victoria Alonzo and before we saw the declining returns on these shows. Is there anything we can do to try to fix them before we, we release like, them? You know? When you know something like the, the comic book versions aren't failing and you try different ways to make it stick and it's still not sticking. Maybe, maybe you just, just walk away and not do it. Just walk away. Just be like, you know, I mean, you've got decades. This is what I don't understand. You've got decades of classic Marvel stories, classic Marvel characters, but you're just picking from the most recent examples of Marvel failing. I, was like, saying, I thought you were saying mediocrity because it starts with an M, but Marvel works too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you think of M, M for Marvel, M for mediocrity. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're like taking all the things that didn't work in the comics and you're turning them into TV shows and you could go back to the 80s, the 70s, the 60s. And find all kinds of, like, Werewolf by Night was a good, yeah. a good example. Well, I was going to say, like, even with Ms. Marvel, they put her in the comic, didn't work. They put her in the game, didn't work. They put her in the show, didn't work, even though it was the lowest performing. Uh, and I think, it's, is this still the lowest performing? No, Secret, in, I think Secret Invasion Secret is lower, invasion actually, than, yeah. than Ms. Marvel. And that's saying something. Um, it didn't work. So let's make a movie and put her as one of the stars in the movie. Because they're just bound to term and they're going to make it stick, even though people aren't gonna, aren't there for it. Yeah, I think they're going to rethink a lot of this well, shit. They better start rethinking quick, and they yeah. got to start, you know, but even if they would reverse course now, it, you're not going to see it for years. <laughs> and are people going to care? I mean, it's it's getting easier and easier to just nope out of Marvel and nope out of Star Wars and nope out of Disney. And the longer they delay projects, people aren't going to care. They're going to be like, Echo, who the is Echo? Oh, that was that girl from the Hawkeye show I didn't watch. You had to watch the Hawkeye show to begin with, and it didn't get that much watch Yeah, time. like, oh, I don't care about her. I'm not I watching this. I mean, it's still this. better than Ms. Marvel, but still. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care what else. What else is on? Hey, look, Netflix has something cool. Hey, look, HBO Max is... Oh, hey, Game of Thrones is back. We're going to watch it. We only had characters people liked, like, you know, for the, the inv- Secret Invasion. People just didn't care. They don't care. A Nick Fury show. I never could have imagined Sam Jackson headlining a Nick Fury show and it being an utter failure. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Well, same with Hawkeye. It was barely about Hawkeye. It was the Kate Bishop show. And he was, oh, for the he, was a, he was quite a, he was, but he was sad. He was sad. Hawkeye. He <laughs> was <laughs> sad. Hawkeye. Sad anyway, Hawkeye. We, but, but a pizza dog. So can we wrap this up? Let's wrap it up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants guys. We'll talk later. And bye. Help support the channel. Go to the reef dot support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef.support.